welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Deja. I'm back with a video. This is me editing for the future. How you guys doing today? Did you guys miss me? I got a lot going on, but all my videos that I've been posting has been pre-recorded and I've been in that season of grinding, grinding, grinding with my YouTube videos and now I'm planning something big that I feel like might change the world and I have so much in store for you guys. So this video is pre-recorded, but this is me in the future. I'm doing amazing. And today I just want to mention that Dosia is going to be sponsoring this video. So shout out to Dosia. You guys know I've been working with them for a little minute now. And each month I try to show you guys my favorite fragrance. Now I'm not sure if I mentioned this fragrance before in another video, but I do want to mention it today. So today's scent is going to be the Woody Sandalwood. And it is inspired by Le Lado Santel 33, the perfume, and the top notes is violet, leaves, cardamom, middle notes is orris, ambrox, cedarwood, and cipriol. Base notes is musk, sandalwood, and amber. And the concentration is 25%. Now, this is one of the strongest perfumes I got from Dossier. Now, um, most of the scents is pretty strong. But this one lasts a long time. <laughs> it lasts a long time and the fragrance is super potent. I love this. If you guys like the notes that's in here, I do recommend it. It is kind of like a, a musky scent. I'm not even going to lie. It's musky. I could definitely smell the leaves. And the musk, and the sandalwood, and the cedarwood. Now, I know that this scent is trending online. And it gives me grown, sexy. Maybe I'm wearing my man's button up around the house and still got his scent on it. It's very unisex. I do want to say that. I do recommend Dosia, especially because I like the fact that I could get scents for a more affordable price. So, if you guys didn't know what Dosia is, they make scents that are inspired by high-end fragrances like that usually range from $8 and up. And these usually range from $29. And of course, I have a coupon code. So if you guys are interested, check the links in the description box below to save you guys a coin. And yeah, you guys know that I love putting you guys onto my favorite scents. This one is very strong. If you guys like that scent, then you're going to love this. I'm still getting used to it, but hey, like it's $29. At least I didn't spend $100 plus. On something that I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. And if you don't like it, of course, you could return it. And yeah, if you guys miss me, comment down below how many, how much you guys miss me. Because I know you're going to miss me. I, so many of you guys have been asking me where I'm at and what happened to the story times. I have story times and all that. But there's a lot going on, okay? Come through independent. Yeah. I can't wait to share with you guys and share with you guys what I'm putting together. Cause this is something that I'm actually truly passionate about, and I know you guys are gonna be like, "What?" Now the title on my belt, but yeah, we're not gonna get into all that. I'll talk to you guys another time. Enjoy the video and have a nice day. What's up, Posse? Welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Deja. I'm back with the video. This video is going to be an updated Q&A and you guys have been asking me some juicy questions and I can't wait to answer them for you guys today in this video. If you guys are new here, make sure that you guys subscribe, hit that notification bell so you guys are notified every time I do post. I do post daily videos at 4 p.m. Eastern time. And yeah, how are you guys doing today? Did you guys miss me? I'm kind of chill today. I'm just lounging. I wasn't even going to record, but I'm like, you know what? Let me just... Let me just make it do what it do, okay? And I was looking at some of you guys' questions, and I'm like, mm, that's a good question. So I'm excited. Um, if you guys are new here, I do lifestyle videos, I do vlogs. If you guys are new here, I do lifestyle videos, I do vlogs, and all that jazz. And yeah, make sure that you guys subscribe, hit that notification bell, because um, I do post consistent now. And I'm super excited.
Also, if you guys have any other questions that you guys want me to answer that I didn't even touch base on, make sure that you comment down below some topics or even some questions that you guys want me to answer in the next video. If I have to do a part two, I will. I have no problem. Let's get into this video with the first question. The first question is, where is my next travel destination? Now, if you guys are new here, then you probably wasn't around when I was traveling a lot, like solo trips. And I think I was doing a lot of solo trips even before I started YouTube. But yeah, my next travel destination, I have no idea because it's like, I feel like I went almost every place that I wanted to go. Now, hear me out. I didn't go everywhere, but like the places that was on my bucket list, I've already went to besides Jamaica. But for some reason, I'm not excited about Jamaica. But that's the only place that's on, that I haven't went to that's on my bucket list. So nine times out of ten, my next place that I will be traveling to is Jamaica. If you have been to Jamaica, comment down, down below how, what was your experience. Did you like it and stuff like that and what I should know. But you guys know I travel every year for my birthday. For the last, I want to say, mm, since I was 16. <laughs> Before I was even paying for my own trips. But yeah, I've been so many places, but I think I'm going to go to Jamaica this year, for sure. Nine times out of ten, I'm going to Jamaica. Or, it's no or, because I feel like I could go anywhere that I really want to, like, financially, but it's like, it's nothing that I feel like I'm just so, like, drawn to. Like, I need to be, like... Like, unless I see, like, a vlog or something and it seems, like, beautiful or, like, somewhere that I want to go. But I haven't even really been seeing no places that I haven't been before where I'm like, oh, I want to go there. Like, so, Jamaica. <laughs> Someone asked me, why is Bert in jail? I did a video on this talking about spilling all the tea. Go check that video out. Um, Yeah, it's called Spilling All the Tea. I tell you guys the story and all that jazz. I'm not going to keep talking about it. It's in the past um okay someone asked me how do i make a living um and how do i support myself y'all i am a content creator that's how i make my living like i don't <laughs> i create content simple um shout out to randine she says where do you see yourself in three years majesty will continue to be a big boy in school, are your plans to continue YouTube or will I be losing my favorite YouTuber? Deep down, I feel like the end is near. Oh, what you mean the end is near? Randy, do what you say. But the next three years is going to be so different from right now. And that's a fact. Um, And it's so funny because I tried to keep this thing that I'm working on like close and dear to my heart because... This is the one thing that I feel like I'm working on that I'm truly passionate about. And I feel like that this is not something that I could just put out. So the fact that like I'm just like, you know, studying, my doing my research, planning, and articulating things in a certain way. I really don't want to talk about it too much. But... The next three years is going to be amazing. Um, Madison will be in school. Um, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I might be married. Maybe I might have more kids. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm trusting God's plan. You never know. Maybe I'll be, you know, living on an island somewhere. Maybe. You know, maybe. Just maybe. I might have three kids. You never know. Three years is a long time from now. And right now, the way I'm moving and the way I think about life, I just feel like so much can happen as long as you think positive, you know, and I'm just letting the spirits guide me at this point. So, yeah, Majesty will be in school, but I don't, I, in three years, I really don't see myself living in Connecticut. And, which is ironic to say, because if that's the case, why am I still trying to stick around for schools? I don't know, but we'll see. Three years is a long time from now, but... I have so many things planned, and of course, you know, I'm just I'm just going with the flow, girl. I'm just maneuvering through life, happy, because I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> Someone said, um, "Hey, Deja, my question is, what it what was it like telling Bert about 
Majesty having autism, what is his reaction to it? Okay, so. Okay, so when, okay, how do I say this? Anything that Bert does or say, I realize like, I can't blame or fault him. It's really his mother. Because, <laughs> like, you know, of course, like, that's, like, who raised him. And that's where he get his, like, certain, like, mindset. Like, that's where he gets a lot of stuff from. So, you know, um, when I first told him, that's when I realized, like, oh, shit. Like, this shit might be genetic. Because... <laughs> Because um, he told me, like, oh, like, you know, it's fine. First of all, when I first told him, he said, oh, autism goes away. And I said, autism don't go away. Like, you learn life while still having autism. Like, you just, you know, progress while still having autism. But that's, like, life. That's a lifetime. So he said, oh, like, I thought autism goes away after a while. So I'm like, no. And then um, he went to tell me how um, when his brother was younger, you know, his brother, you know, got tested and stuff like that, or whatever the case may be. And I said, oh, okay. Hmm. Okay. And then, um, so he was very supportive. He was very supportive. But his mindset of autism was way different. He thought like, okay, like you have, if you are, if you are born with autism, like, you know, you get the help and then it goes away, but that's not what it is. And that's, that's not what it is. So I had to tell him like, if you're born with autism, you have autism your whole life. And, um, yeah, so he was supportive, but he didn't actually know until like he started looking into it himself. He didn't actually know what it was as a whole. So he just thought he was supportive regardless. Like, but of course he was just like, you know, like he's a baby. Everybody around me was saying like, he's a baby. Like everybody was saying, oh, Majesty's a baby. You know, like, and I was just like, no. Like, even when I was like going through a phase where I wasn't even letting him watch Coco Melon, everybody was like, well, not everybody, but you know, his family, his mother was like, let him watch his show. And I'm like, no, ma'am. If something's not right, I'm going to figure it out. Because, you know, I ain't crazy now. Like, bro, like, something ain't right. Like, <laughs> something's off. Like, I'm realizing something's off. And, um, yeah, so just, I would just tell him, like, certain things. Like, like you know, like, things that I, like, little things that was bothering me. Because I, at the moment, at that time, I felt like nobody was understanding me. So I would just tell him like little examples, like, oh, like, for, like, for example, I would um, explain to him, like, I'm rolling, rolling majesty a ball and he's not rolling it back. Like small stuff like that, because I was real sensitive in that moment because I, I, I knew that, okay, like I'm going to have to do things on my own and take heed of what I'm saying because I'm the one that's seeing and stuff. Like I, I could say this and everybody's saying he's a baby, so they're not really understanding so I just had to tell him like little examples, like, you know, like I'm calling his name and he's not answering, like stuff like that. And I would ask my sister, like, oh, like does your son answer to his name? So she was like, yeah, he has his time, but he ignores me. But, and I'm like, no, not that. And then long story short, he was supportive, but he didn't know what it was until he started looking at it into himself. And, um, yeah, but you know, He's he's learning. He's going to learn. He's going to have to learn about it in general on his own. Maybe when he has the resources to do like look at other videos and stuff like that on his own and stuff like that. Maybe he'll like really like understand it more in depth. But if he's taking advice from like his mom or something like that, then that's like he's going to have to like that's just I don't know. You know, I don't know, but he's going to have to learn regardless <laughs> and understand regardless. So I have faith. Someone said, I love your seafood boil videos. Thank you. Um, someone asked me, I love your spiritual journey. Do you know what the Bible says about the Zodiac? Just ask them. And no, I don't know what the Bible says about the Zodiac. 
And actually, when you when I saw this question, I looked it up, but it doesn't really say anything about zodiac signs. And it's this lady who I speak to, and she was, she, we didn't, it was nothing that, I didn't really understand what she was asking me. So if you want to comment down below, like more in depth what you meant, then I don't know, maybe I can answer that question better, but I didn't, I don't know what the Bible says about zodiac. Someone asked me, do you still work out? What type of workouts do you do? If you do cleanses, how often do you cleanse? What system do you use for your business when creating labels and shipping? And she said, all right, girl, I'm done. Okay, so let me break this down. Do I still work out? No. I wish I could work out because I personally enjoyed working out. I love, like, going to the gym every day. So when I am in a place where I could, like, put that in my routine, I will with no problem. But... At one point, I was doing Pilates in my house. I don't like Pilates. I don't like Pilates. Um, I was doing, I tried yoga. It's not really my thing. I like regular like HIIT workouts when I do feel like I need to work out in my house. I'll do like a HIIT workout. I'll go on YouTube and Google like HIIT workout. I don't really know the girl, but she's like Asian. Really slim. I don't even know if the workouts really work because she, she looks like she was born slim, so... <laughs> but I mean, hey, I, I, she she's like, you'll see her when you Google hip workouts, 15 minute workouts. I'll do stuff like that in my house, but not too often. What type of workouts do you do? And she said, if you cleanse, how often do you cleanse? Um, actually, let me show you guys what I take. All right. Um, yeah, you need this right here. Well, and also I don't drink. <laughs> so I felt like um, it didn't matter what I was doing before. Like if I was working out or um, eating a certain way or anything, even cleansing, I felt like I would always have a little bloat. But until I stop drinking, I don't have any bloat. Like I, that's just the honest truth. But this right here, I was taking this while I was drinking also right before i stopped drinking and this was having my stomach feel way better like because i don't really i don't really be like gassy unless i take like a um detox the detox keys i was selling before um but yeah i don't really i don't i'm not really like i i just take this i stop drinking and i'll take a detox tea every now and then when i feel constipated but that's about it like, cause now, like now that I don't drink and I take that probiotic every day, I actually use the restroom normally. Before, I never used to use the restroom normally unless I took a detox tea. That's TMI. But like, yeah, I wasn't like, you know, I just was like, am I rushing? <laughs> like, I, I just never, I don't know. I, I don't know. I never will poop naturally. What system do you use for your business when creating labels and shipping? Um, Avery. I hope that's right. I think it's Avery. It gotta be Avery. Creating labels and shipping. Oh, wait. Creating labels and shipping, you can do that through Shopify. So when I had my um company, I was using Shopify for everything. Shopify. But, like, labels on, like, my bottles and my butter sauces and my seasonings and my... And my detox teas and all that, that's all from Avery. Okay. Someone asked me, when are you scheduled to have free time? By the time you guys see this, I, I probably already went on my um my little, you know, nanny situation. Because I, as I go, as I got, oh, relax. I got too high. As I told you guys in my previous vlog, when I had went to the hospital, I had booked the nanny. So I still have that time. So I'm just going to, um, I'm supposed to be using her this weekend. So fingers crossed it goes well, but yeah. What's the best thing that happened to you this year? God bless. Um, the best, well, the year just started. The year just started. All right, I can tell you the best thing that happened to me this year was everything. Like, and no, all right. The best thing that happened to me this year was, 
having clarity on a lot of things like 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 literally like the way god has been bringing things to me behind like behind closed doors like the way that things have been coming to me because when i tell you guys i'm so nonchalant and, and oblivious to a lot of stuff that i just i out of sight out of mind and um you know like if it doesn't suit serve me any purpose it just doesn't serve me any purpose so i really won't i don't really go looking for stuff especially since like I don't be trying to ruin my own mood. Like, you know, like, I really don't go looking for stuff. But the fact that everything, I feel like everything is coming to me. Everything, like, everything is coming to me. Like, and that's the best thing that's been happening this year. Like, I feel like I don't really have to do too much, like, with anything. Like, at this point in my life, I don't have to do too much with, with work. I don't have to do too much with, um relationships i don't have to i'm at peace like i am single like i'm like you know like i just feel like everything that is happening to me and for me is coming to me like naturally i'm not even trying to really i'm just you know being sasia okay and things are just happening my way for the better and that's the best thing that's happened to me this year is letting god take the lead Cause once I like once you do that, that's when like you know everything starts falling into place. Like now, look, like oh, I'm the girl that got away, <laughs> like the girl that got away from anything that's toxic, like anything that didn't serve me any purpose, I got away, girl. And it's like now it's like I was already on some like you know independent solo girl lifestyle for years. I just said that I was traveling solo. I've been like doing a lot of stuff by myself anyway and i feel like the people that's still around and the relationships that still that i still have cool but if it's like at this point it's like it doesn't really matter like <laughs> if something comes to me i don't care it's not meant to be someone asked me girl why don't you film vlogs anymore i like watching your adventures with majesty um i do film vlogs oh i just posted a vlog but when it's winter time, it's cold, y'all. Like, it's 18 degrees. And I wish I was more consistent when I was going outside with Majesty because I try to do something, like, at least once a week where we go to a museum, indoor park, and stuff like that in the winter time. But I just didn't want my content to be all baby content. Like, I didn't even want that. Like, I just... And plus, you know, I just don't want that. Like, I don't want that to be my, my you know? No. Don't get me wrong, I don't mind, like, posting Majesty and stuff like that, but it would be the only thing that I was posting. But in the wintertime, all I was doing was staying home, <laughs> like, creating a fun lifestyle for Majesty while we're in the house. And if we was going outside in, in that cold weather, we was doing something fun. Even if it was Target or something, like, to go buy a toy, like, we will take that trip just for one toy. But it's like, that's just to get out the house, but it's cold it was cold I got, but you guys are gonna see a lot of vlogs from me now but and she said and what's new for pb posse products where's the butter sauces um okay so i keep getting this question someone keeps asking me not someone but i keep getting the question of like am i gonna sell butter sauces again or like what's next and I don't want to, I don't want to sell merch. Like, I don't know why. I just don't want to know more. Well, I do know why. It's because what I'm working on now has my, like, heart. <laughs> what I'm working on now has my heart. And I feel like that's a part of my journey also. So when it came to like butter sauces and seasonings and lashes and my necklaces and my hats and all that jazz i was i could have just i could just do it like you know like i could just do it and um like even right now i could like be selling merch i could make a shirt that says something and i know that you guys will support me which i love and i appreciate that's why I know I can never be down bad with you guys. Like, I can never really be down bad. That's why when I say, like, 
the thing I'm working on is going to take time and patience. That's what I'm working on right now. My time and my patience and this project that I'm working on because I just know that it's going to be so worth it. And I don't want to really put out nothing that I'm really not passionate about right now. Like, unless like, you know, like, you know, the girls was in a rut, you know, times is really hard where I had to like, you know, I needed to sell something right now. Like I could do it. Like I still have labels and everything. <laughs> I still have thank you cards and all. I could put that to use right now if I wanted to, but it's, I can't really even think of nothing that I that's going to give me that drive or that oomph like for me to do it anyway besides what I'm working on right now. And I don't want to overwork myself. I don't I don't need to overwork myself. <laughs> I don't need to overwork myself. I just I just want to and plus I don't want to be like grinding, grinding, grinding and busting my ass and it takes away from the quality time that I'm having with Majesty or the quality that I'm putting into this new project or the quality into the content that I'm putting out. Like I just, if I got to go hard for it, I don't want to. I don't want it. Simple as <laughs> If I got to go hard for it, I don't want it. And not on some like, I don't have no ambition. I do have ambition, but I also have a lifestyle that I want to live. I don't want to be stressed. I enjoy waking up happy. <laughs> I enjoy waking up happy. I'm not a greedy person. I don't want, like, you know, I feel like I have, I am blessed. Okay. I am blessed. And I don't want to put out no merch or nothing right now, to be honest. Like, I just don't. And I, like, all right. You know what? Comment down below what you guys would want to see me sell. Because I don't mind selling something that makes sense. But I'm not just gonna be like, here's this, no. But if you guys, if you guys, you know, I don't know, a shirt, I'll get some shirts made and I'll sell you a shirt. If you want me to sell you a shirt, I got you. But I still have hats. I don't have that many hats either, which is crazy. All my inventory that I had a long time ago, that shit is gone. That's another reason why I'm like, now that it's finally gone and I don't have, I'm not just sitting on inventory. Like I have, like, you know, I don't really want to like, because then now I have to like promote it and sell it and promote it and sell it. And I'm just, mm. someone said, what is your ring size? My ring size is a, I don't know, maybe it's a six. I have no idea. I have no, what's a typical ring size for a woman? Six or seven? Because I never had to get a ring size. So yeah. Maybe like a six or seven. I'm saying that just in case my boo watch this. My future boo. He watches this and want to get me a ring. Can you help me and sew a non ghoulish wig? I'm ordering this. That's one shown. Um, actually, I could. I actually could. I actually could. I have a wig video coming out. I don't know if you guys are going to get it first or after. Um, someone asked me when you stopping through Akron, Ohio. Um, I had no plans on stopping through Ohio at all, actually. And someone asked me, are you, are you ready to start dating? Yes. Yes, I am ready to start dating. Um, but it has to feel worth it. Like, it has to feel worth it. It has to feel worth it. That's the best thing I can say. Like, it has to feel like I want to do it. Like, I have to be able to trust my intuition about you as a whole. Because, ugh. I don't know. I'd be so turned off. Like, I'd be so turned <laughs> I'd be so turned off. I'd be so turned off. I'd be turned off. Like... And it, it could be just like, it could be things that I could see that are red flags. And I'm not someone who is like super picky either. Like, I'm not super picky. But if I feel a red flag, it's a red flag. Okay? It's a red flag. Um, 
Someone said, hey, Punky, are you dating anyone new? Are we dating? I don't think we're, I don't, I don't consider us dating yet. Um, we haven't went on a date yet, but we do talk. Not too often, because this is new. This is very new. I haven't met him in person yet. This is very new. But when I was like, because you guys know I'm very in tune with myself. And when I manifest things, I just, I just know myself. And even for a while, I was saying like, you know, like, I'm going to be single forever. And I'm never having kids and all that. And I realized like, that may not be the truth. Like, and I'm not saying I want to have this guy's baby. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that in my future, I'm not 100% against it. I'm, not, I'm having a baby in general. Or being a wife or like you know like i just feel like i don't want to short myself because of this experience because at the end of the day i love kids i love majesty i love being a mom like it's genuinely like fulfilling to me like i enjoy it i have fun every day even though it has its ups and downs way more good days than bad so i just genuinely see myself i could see myself being with someone and loving them and being married and having another baby. One more, maybe. Not, I'm not gonna, you know, but I'm just saying, like, I can see that. I can see that. Like, and before I could not see that. And I tell you guys, I am changing. I am changing. I don't talk about it with nobody, like, not even no friends, nothing. Like, this whole, a lot of stuff I don't talk to people about because. This is about me. Like, this is my life. I need, I take my own advice. I don't want to hear nobody else's opinion. Nothing. Okay? And I just feel like at this point in my life, I am open to dating. It's hilarious. Someone said, do you plan to make videos again? Yes. But wait. All right. You see how I said that? Don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on that because I might go on that date and ghost him afterwards. Or I might, you know, don't, don't. Don't comment down below about none of that. That's why I be trying to keep shit to myself because I don't even want to hear what y'all got to say. Don't push me to the edge. Or I'm not telling you guys nothing ever again. <laughs> That's serious. But nah, yeah, I am open to dating. <laughs> do you plan to make videos again? I do make videos, girl. Well, guy. Are you still moving? Yes, I'm still moving. But yeah, that's it. I'm done. That's all the questions. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys like Q&A videos. Comment down below what other videos that you guys want to see from me. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you guys know that when I do post. I do post daily videos at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and have a nice day.